I'm tired of these boring colorless villages. So today we're gonna spice them up a little by building a village in every single color in hardcore Minecraft. The start of our plan is simple. Steal part of a village and rebuild it close to home. And bang. With an old blacksmith model added, that is the model village complete. This next part will take some more time, but we need to build a giant color wheel. And in the segments, we'll build different color villages going all the way around. But before we build it, we need to work out the size of it because each segment needs to fit this entire village in it. This is going to be tricky. Circumference pi D. All right, we've got a bit of a problem. My brain can't really figure out how to split these segments evenly. I think we're gonna have to scrap this color wheel idea and go back to the drawing board. Okay, I think I've got a plan. Instead of using the color wheel, how about we do like a colorful piano method and then we just put the villages on the separate colors in a line. Plus this way, I think it will be easier to compare the villages anyway. All right, so first we need to... Oh, hello. As I was saying, first we need to measure the village. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And now that we've got that, let's build an outline for the build. And I guess we'll use dirt. Wow, this is going to be massive. Anyways, we're just going to do the colors in the order they are in the creative menu. So as you can see, the first color is going to be white. Now for the white biome, we're going to need white dye. And I think I know just where to get it. You see, in episode 20 of my hardcore series, I got a thousand beacons. And for that, we needed a wither skeleton farm. And there it is. Now if we just wait here for a second. Then if we kill these guys... We should have all the bones we need. Wow, that's actually too many. Now let's dye these guys. All right, so that'll be wool sorted, but we're also going to need concrete. So sand, gravel, and this should make concrete powder. Perfect. Now we just replace this black concrete powder with this white and turn our duper on. Uh, I don't think that's right. How do I always find a way to mess this thing up? Maybe I was meant to put the concrete powder on here? Yes, that's working. All right, and while this is happening, don't forget to like the video, guys. Wow, I have ruined this end. Yeah, that's a problem for future lockdown life. And now we'll just turn some of this powder into actual concrete. All right, now I'm not sure whether to build this entire thing out of one material or do like different patches with wool, concrete powder, and concrete. To be fair, I'm kind of liking the way this is looking. Wait a second, this white concrete really does not look white. It's kind of gray. What if we replace it with snow? Wow, that looks so much better and it's so much whiter. All right, I think we've got a plan. We'll use snow and wool for this bit. All right, nice. Now we need to recreate this village, but in white. So instead of oak wood, I guess we'll use spruce. Okay, now we'll just add the dirt. Now I don't really think there's any crops that are white, but there definitely are some flowers. That's looking good. Now onto the buildings. All right, so the next part is of course the house. So instead of oak, we'll use spruce. Wait, did I just call it spruce? Spruce, wow. Anyways, let's do this roof. Seriously. There's another one of these guys. And you have absolutely nothing useful to me. Ooh, you might actually come in handy. You will not. And stay there. The reason I've got this guy is we're going to try and get a mob for each different color. And this guy will be the white mob. You are so annoying. All right, now if you compare this house to the model house, you may notice that we're missing something. We're missing cobblestone. And for this, we're going to use quartz. Why does this quartz have to be so risky to get? Leave my quartz alone. All right, now, which one looks the most like cobblestone? I think chiseled. Hey, look, a white skeleton. Um, Do you mind not shooting my llama? Okay, I don't really know how this is going to look. And to finish it off, let's add some white stained glass. A nice sprue birch door. And of course, a white bed. And now let's do the blacksmith in the same style. All right, there's only a few more things to add. The iron bars, some lava, and I think there's some down here. Yes, some furnaces, 
the birch fences. We need the stairs here, which will be quartz. And inside we need our table and our chest. And with a couple of torches, that's the white biome complete. The next village is orange. So we're going to need all of this for orange dye. Nice. So we can do the exact same thing to get a bunch of concrete. We can replace this white stuff with orange. And we'll do the same thing for our wool. And we'll just do the same thing here, but with concrete instead of snow. Perfect. Now for the wood in the orange village, we're going to go for stripped acacia. So... Could this guy be our orange mob? Nah, he's he's more yellow, isn't he? Okay, so first for the farm, we need to strip these logs. Place the dirt. Add a sprinkle of water. And finally, we can plant a bunch of carrots. Now, they don't look orange now, but once they've grown, they will be orange. Wait, there's a thunderstorm. I wonder if we can get another cool looking white mob. All we need is our trident. Perfect. Wait, is it still thundering? We need to find some horses. Donkeys? Would that work? Uh, no, that definitely won't work. <laughs> yes, horses. Um... Wait, what? Isn't that meant to work? I thought that was meant to create the skeleton horses. Or maybe it just has to happen naturally. And it stopped thundering. All right, this time we're going to do the blacksmith first. So we're going to need a replacement for the cobblestone. And I think I've got an idea. If we fly on over to the mesa biome, we can actually mine some of the sand and use it to craft red sandstone, which weirdly is actually orange. So let's grab a bunch of this. All right, so first is a layer of red sandstone. Now we need to build a place for the lava. Iron bars, burn eye. Then I think it's logs in the corner like this. And they need to be stripped. This should all be acacia wood, acacia door, orange windows, chest. Then we need these fences like this. And I'm pretty sure, yes, we can get red sandstone stairs for here. Perfect. There's our acacia table, some lava. And finally, we just add the red sandstone roof. All right, I'm not going to lie, guys. We've smashed this blacksmith. It looks so good in orange. And literally everything is orange. Perfect. So now let's just do the house in a similar style. Wow, I'm actually really liking how this orange village is turning out. The only thing we're missing now is a mob or a feature. First mob that popped into my head was actually a stri... That is lava. It's actually a strider, but actually I'm kind of thinking they're more red. Blazes could work, but they'd probably set all the wool on fire and they're more yellow. Wait, is there an orange parrot? Is there an orange parrot in my grass? What color parrots are there? There are five parrots. Red, green, blue, cyan, and gray. So no, there is not an orange parrot. Hmm, I don't know what we could do. Wait, instead of a mob, we could just scatter a bunch of pumpkins around. Yeah, that should do for now. And with the orange bed added, that is the orange village complete. As you can see, the magenta village is next, but magenta dye is kind of hard to get, which got me thinking we should probably start building a flower farm. All right, so for this, we're going to need observers, yoink, some pistons, and a bunch of other stuff. All right, I've got everything I need. I just need to find a flower biome. I'm not sure if this is one or not. I feel like that one over there has more of a chance of being an actual flower biome, and it's got a bunch of these ones. All right, then we surround this area with blocks. Then we need to add the pistons on this side and this side. Then we need to clear one row of dirt so the grass can actually move. Now it's time for the note blocks, which will actually tell the pistons to move. And here in the middle, we need to add our dispenser that will actually shoot out the bone meal. A couple of observers and we'll need some hoppers to a chest. And finally, we just need to add some fences. All right, let's see if this works. Please work. Um, maybe there's something wrong with the hoppers? No. Yes. Oh my God, finally. How do we stop it? Wow, that's a lot of flowers. Well, we definitely have the magenta. So let's move on to that village. Of course, for the floor, we'll use the same old magenta concrete and magenta wool. Come on, please don't destroy it. Yes. Oh, I feel like this one's going to be really hard. I have no idea what blocks are actually magenta. Let's do some research. So there only seems to be two other blocks that are actually magenta color. That is the bubble coral and the magenta glazed terracotta. The only problem is bubble coral needs water. Otherwise, it turns into this gray color like that. So I guess for this one, we'll just use concrete as wood. And this glazed terracotta will be our cobblestone. All right, so we need glazed terracotta. 
and for that we need terracotta, which funnily enough means we need a bunch of clay. Oh, here's some. And now we just smelt up this clay, and then we get terracotta, craft that into magenta terracotta, and smelt it again to get glazed magenta terracotta. Okay, so first we're gonna do the farm. I really wish there was some magenta wood, but I guess this will have to do. And once again, there's not really any magenta crops, but we could probably just use these flowers instead. And for the house, we'll use the concrete as the wood. And of course, the glazed terracotta for the cobblestone. Wait, why can't I get the arrows to face the right way? Ah, uh, okay, you just have to place them a certain way. Yes, the roof will just have to be blocks as well. We can have magenta glass panes and a magenta bed. There is no magenta stairs, so we'll just put that there, I guess. Who would have thought building out of just magenta blocks is not very easy? I guess let's try and build the blacksmith. And I think we'll actually use concrete powder instead of planks. Hmm, how's that gonna work with the door there? Could we use like a, a button to hold it up? Yes. All right, perfect. I can't place it the right way without having some blocks underneath it. So I'm gonna use dirt for that. All right, now all that we're missing is some kind of replacement for the fence post. And actually maybe the door as well. I wonder if crimson fences would look all right. Not really magenta, is it? Wait, what about some kind of magenta banner? So a stick and some magenta wool. Okay, but can you place them on top of each other? Okay. All right, there we go. I think that'll do. And we can use these as sort of doors as well. And finally, we need a mob or a feature. And I can't really think of any magenta mobs. You guys are going to have to let me know in the comments if I'm missing some but i do have an idea and for it we're gonna need to find like a tropical ocean wow, wow. this village is very cool all right perfect now we need to get a bunch of this stuff I've literally just been spiked by this guy like three times lol and we'll take a few of these as well now we just need some magenta glass and wait did i just waste that or can it come back to life great all right lesson learned water first Okay, and now the coral should live. And a few coral fans. Is that gonna live there? No. No, it's not. And with the coral ravine added, that is the magenta biome complete. All right, so that's three colors done. But as you can see, we've got a lot more to do. So to stop this video being over an hour long, we're probably gonna skip some of the more boring colors like brown, light gray, and of course, gray. All right, we've now done three more colors. But whilst I was doing it, it came to my attention that we're missing something. See how the model blacksmith has slabs on the roof? Well, I forgot to do them for all of them. So we've got some work to do. For white, we're just gonna use quartz slabs. Orange will work perfectly with some red sandstone slabs. Now for magenta, our options are very limited, but I think we're gonna go with purple slabs. Then for gray and light gray, we're gonna go for deep slate brick slabs. and. If of course the default smooth stone slabs which then leads us onto the brown village and to be honest i'm not a fan of this stuff i'm not really sure what color i would call it but it's it's not really brown but i think i've got a solution if we come over here to the mangrove swamp and mine a bunch of this mud oh my god anyways apparently we can craft this into something called packed mud maybe we have to smelt it all right is it gonna work hmm Ah, so apparently we need some wheat. Oh my god, this wheat has been here for so long. Okay, then... Is it just like this? Yes! And we've got packed mud. And with this, we can craft up some mud bricks. Perfect. Okay, nice. Let's get this stuff replaced. Alright, I'm actually really liking that. Oh wait, we can also change the stairs. Get rid of these and replace them with these. Perfect. Anyways, next on the color list is cyan, which is pretty convenient because we have loads of resources left over from last episode where we built a planet for 100 LAs. Definitely check that video out if you haven't already after this one. All right, and bang. Now, of course, we're gonna use these to build the farm and we'll plant some of these blue orchids. Wait, they'd probably be better in the blue biome. I don't think there's a suitable replacement, so we'll use these for now. Okay, so it's the next day now and as you can tell, I am ill. <laughs> Anyways, despite feeling a bit ill, we need to find a replacement for cobblestone for this cyan village. Gonna need some of this and probably a few of these. And we're gonna collect that block there on top of the ocean monument. I think it's called Prismary? Yes. Oh my God, that's one of these guys. Oh my God, he hurts. Uh, chest plate. Nice. Right, what we really don't wanna get is mining fatigue because that's gonna make this so much harder. 
Oh, great. We've got minor fatigue. Guess that's what the milk's for. Right, I'm not sure how long we're going to have to mine this stuff before we get minor fatigue, so we need to hurry up. No, and we're drowning. Sorry, Mr. Tree, I'm just going to need a bit of your wood. All right, there we go. Oh, this is much better. Oh, not again. We need to kill these guys before we run out of milk. All right, finally, we can drink this milk and we can actually mine all this stuff. Let's go. Okay, we're actually going to use prismarine bricks because they're more cyan. And then we'll use prismarine for the light blue village. All right, let's see how this is going to look. Yeah, I'm liking it. And we'll do the blacksmith as well. All right, now, can you get stairs? Oh, yes, you can. And half slabs? Yes. All right, now we just need to get ourselves a mob for this village. And that's where this is going to come in. Wait. They're more light blue than cyan. Maybe we could just scatter around some of these trees. And it'll probably be faster if we just get a bunch of these. And with a little help from the white village. That's the cyan village. Complete. Wait a minute. That's just reminded me. We've done all the extra stuff for these villages. But we completely forgot to do it for the gray and brown villages. Bruh. All right. So first we'll do light gray. Which is going to be pretty simple. And we're just going to kidnap some of these security dogs. Don't fall in the lava, please. Nice. Sit, 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 and sit. I then dyed the dog's colors light gray and built them a nice little dog house complete with plenty of bones. Now for the gray village, and I think it would be cool to see if we can get a bunch of pillager banners. Nice. So if we add these four banners to the banners we've got stored up, we should have enough for the gray village. All right, and that's the gray village done. And for the brown village, I'm just going to tame this horse called Gerald. Come on, Gerald. Let me tame you. Gerald does not like me. Gerald, where are you going? Yes. Yeah, Gerald really can't jump very high. Here we are, Gerald. All right, we need to start making some more progress. So I'm going to fill in the floor for the rest of the villages. Okay, now we're gonna do the red village. And for the wood, we're gonna use the mangrove logs. Thank God they added this red wood. And we're actually gonna plant a bunch of beetroots because they're red. And for the stone, we'll probably just use nether brick. Wait, how'd you get red nether brick? So apparently it's like this. Oh, perfect. Oh, this looks so much better. Okay, now for the red feature. For this, we need a lava pit. And actually, before placing the lava, we should probably move some of this wool so it doesn't set the entire thing on fire. All right, nice. You may remember earlier when I was doing the orange biome, I said this. Well, yeah, striders are definitely red. So we need one for our red village, but how do we get them to come here? Is he coming to me? I guess we could try a riskier strat. Yes, oh my God, it worked. <laughs> Alright, now we need to build a portal in a particular place to get back to base. Okay, the moment of truth. Is it gonna work? Yes, finally, the surface. Oh my god, rain hurts him. Okay, it finally stopped raining, so let's get our strider in here. Ow. And that's the red village complete. Okay, so the next village is gonna be a bit of a flex. You see, worst I've been ill, I've been AFKing at my gold farm so that I could afford to replace the cobblestone for this build with gold. Oh, and we're gonna use hay bales for the wood. This might not look the best, but we have to do it. It actually looks really comfortable from the inside. Oh, and for the feature for the yellow biome, I decided to cheat a little bit and just dye a sheep yellow. Okay, and we need to make some more progress, so let's skip through a bunch of the boring villages. The first village I did was the dark blue village, and I used pretty much all of my lapis on this build, which means I'll be coming here for enchanting in the future. Also, for the mob, I got this blue tropical fish and called it Gamers, after my friend who's about to finally upload a video. After that was the lime green village, which was basically paid for by my villagers and my slime farm. And speaking of which, for the mob, I trapped a slime called Slimy. Then came the dark green village, which was basically a more boring version of the lime village, but with a grass farm. Oh, it also has a trapped creeper called Run, because if you're close enough to read it, you should probably run. Anyways, next was the pink biome, which was pretty similar to the magenta biome, but it did have some pigs listening to rock music. The light blue village was next, but the light blue village had some problems, because I realized prismarine is more green than it is blue. So I decided to use blue ice. However, blue ice actually melts 
house near lava, so I had to use some packed ice for the blacksmith, which was very annoying to get. Oh, and for the feature, I built a huge ice spike and put five little allays on top from the last video. And the penultimate village was the Black Village, and it was pretty easy because Blackstone exists. However, I also managed to capture Richard the Cow. But you may have noticed we don't have any flowers with this village. Well, that's where this guy comes in. Kill these horses, please. Is that a wither rose? Yes, there's one here. All right, new plan. I'm going to fly away, and hopefully it should target the horses. Yes, it did. Perfect. All right, I think we've finally got enough wither roses. It's time for it to die. All right, this is it. Me versus the wither. Let's go. Oh, my God. Die. Yes, we got it. And that is the black village complete. All right, now on to the final village, the purple village. Wait. For this, we're going to need some of our remaining gold, and we're going to trade with this guy for a bunch of crying obsidian. Okay, let's build this final village. Right, and lastly, we need our little purple bug. Let's go. And just like that, every color village is now complete. Sorry about my ill voice in this one, guys, but thank you so much for watching and watch this video next. Also, subscribe, please.